All right, another update. So, in the previous video you saw that I made this to hold this probe. And mainly to bore it in the spindle so that I knew it was um, collinear with the spindle, or coaxial. And then I threw this in, the probe in, and I'm gonna run it here. So you can see it's, it's zero, X and Y and I'm going to probe the center. This is one of the canned probes, so it does a bunch of dancing to get it close and find that rough center, and then it goes and uh, actually does the fine touch. And never played around with it. It's always more than fast enough for my, uh, my usage. So, what I want is to be able to throw this in the spindle and not have to worry about if it is off. I mean, I'll check it every so often, but I don't want to have to use like a tool offset or something uh, if I don't want to. Um, so if you look here, X and Y is still zero. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this 180 degrees, which is there and probe it again. Pretty exciting probing routine, if you ask me. And I'm happy with that. That is a tenth of a thousandth. I, so it's really half that, if you think about it. Um, so more than accurate, more than accurate enough for this machine. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I am cheating a little, and I haven't really played around with um, what happens if I put this in the spindle in a different orientation, but currently I actually have uh, a mark here that I use to when I put the probe in. Um, but I'll definitely try it uh, different uh, positions and, and see how far off it is. But uh, good enough for what I need to use it for, for this machine. Um, uh, so I guess if you have any questions, Put them in the comments, and I think that's all I have. I haven't hooked up the, I want to hook up this this uh, LED so when it trips it, it shows, but I haven't had a chance to. I'm just gonna use an extra output on the uh, lead shine stepper driver to run that, um, run that LED, so uh, soon. Anyway, I'm very happy and uh, I think uh, this thing's really close to being done. You see my uh, bellows is off because when I trammed the spindle, it actually moved where the bellows mount to the point where I have to make a little adapter, just a, a, like almost like a shim to make it so that it sits flat again up against the spindle, um, the bottom of the spindle casting. So that's another project. So. Anyway, I'll, uh, I guess, talk to you guys later.